I'm highly suspect of the 800 pounds weight rating. It broke while moving a 200 pounds load. This thing is made out of lightweight aluminum, with aluminum weld points. Those weak joints snapped and upon further inspection didn't look like they can handle any kind of heavy workload at all. I would be very careful trying to move anything heavy around in 45 degree incline mode, like a refrigerator. If you are rolling it and hit any kind of uneven surface like carpet edging or separation joint in concrete, the welds might snap and you will end up with a dropped fridge. Review number 2 I had to move a 1 4th ton and safe inside, using a come along to move up a couple steps. It works really well. Wouldn't have been able to move it without this hand truck. Edit. I recently realized that the framing bent on it, per the attached picture. The safe being moved was nowhere near 1000 pounds, only 514 pounds. It no longer transforms into a horizontal cart, due to the bend in the framing. They sent me a replacement. But I seriously wonder if I should have just taken a refund. A part of me would feel guilty if I take a refund cuz I was able to move the safe, which was why I bought the hand truck to begin with. I already have a couple at home. So, now I own a light to medium duty hand truck. They need to beef it up more. The poundage rating is grossly overrated. Costco, can you beef it up to eliminate the issue? Can you take mine back and beef it up so the framing won't bend again in the future? It's really a serious issue when the framing can't support its weight claim. Well, I'll be sending the damaged cart back in the next several days. Review number 3 one of the small wheels came off within a week. Good and lightweight and cannot handle heavy stuff. Review number 4. The weight capacity of this cart is grossly overstated. We had 405 pounds on it in the assisted position, the capacity in that position is stated as 800, and it collapsed. Luckily, Nobody was standing too close to it when it happened or someone could have been seriously injured. The only casualty was to a piece of furniture that it clipped when it fell. It was very scary, though. The plastic clip that holds the bar in place at the 45 degree angle just to seem to slip out of place and the whole thing fell. It seems like a solid built cart, just be careful of the weight you put on it so I'm still giving it two stars with that stipulation. In the other two positions it would probably be okay, since the way it hooks together seems more secure in those positions. Review number 5 Fell apart within first month at three week links, okay maybe for lighter loads, but nowhere near limits set in advertising. Review number 6 as previously stated in other reviews this hand truck does not appear to be rated anywhere near what is advertised. I was moving 300 pounds of water softener in the hand truck position and weak point for me was the plastic attaching the wheel. Any kind of uneven terrain will compromise the integrity of the plastic holding the wheels at this weight, forget about going up slash down a few steps. I contacted Costco and they sent me a new hand truck which I just received. Really good customer service but the product itself isn't that great or at the very least it doesn't stand up to what is advertised. If you have a problem with the hand truck, I highly recommend calling in for customer service if it's still under warranty. Review number 7 I was spoiled by the previous model but this was the one they make and sell now and seemed the best value and closest to tried and true I could get my mitts on. I liked the old loop handle, over the separate hand grabs, which the position it puts my elbows out feels a bit uncomfortable. 
Maybe it wouldn't be an issue, if I was a large dude, but I'm a solid petite woman. It has good control, though. The black plastic covering the handles is cheap and hard, but at least not uncomfortable. If you read your manual, or just online description, one would know the 45 degree position is lower weight rated, than the upright or horizontal. I do want to run more around and move heavier things than the fold flat small $60 model, though. Until I get some appliances, and this isn't an appliance dolly, anyways, I'll probably never own anything to really sit too heavy on it, because I don't want to own anything, I can't handle myself. It's a good dolly and very handy, so I expect some good years out of this puppy, as long as I don't have to sell it on Craigslist, because I don't have somewhere to stash it. If I had to nitpick, it doesn't have the up the stairs runners. I'd appreciate a way to stop it from rolling, if you are dumb enough to park it on an incline. There's been a few times, where it wasn't rolling, but when it got lighter, it started rolling on me, lol. Also, I didn't check Costco inventory, before joining and then I had to pay $149 for this instead of the $99 it was before the model changed, so boo. It's shorter, so it's easier to put in some vehicles, but even for a shorty like me, slightly less pleasant to push. The scoop though is bigger, and I am not sure I actually like it having a larger scoop. The flex worried me a little, but so good so far. Movin, Movin, Movin. I'm highly suspect of the 800 pounds weight rating. It broke while moving a 200 pounds load. This thing is made out of lightweight aluminum, with aluminum weld points. Those weak joints snapped and upon further inspection didn't look like they can handle any kind of heavy workload at all. I would be very careful trying to move anything heavy around in 45 degree incline mode, like a refrigerator. If you are rolling it and hit any kind of uneven surface like carpet edging or separation joint in concrete, the welds might snap and you will end up with a dropped fridge.